Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing you how I put this unicorn shadow light up box together. So I've used the Simply Made Crafts large shadow frame album box die set to make the frame box and then I got the image for the unicorn scene from my Cricut. So this is what it looks like and I think it's adorable. And then this is what it looks like on the back. So we've got the little box that I put the battery pack in and you're not going to be able to see it lit up because obviously it's daylight but it does light up and I think it's gorgeous. So if you want to know how to make this then let's get started. So to make this project we're going to be using the Simply Made Crafts Large Shadow Frame Album Box die set. I am using this die here and you want to die cut four pieces of cardstock and I've used white. So you want to cut four of these out and the cardstock I've used is the boys A4 white card and this is 210 GSM and for all my card pieces for my image I've used 210 GSM as well and so then your image I have gone onto my Cricut design space and I selected all of the images except the frame bit here you're going to keep that one separate to the others okay so you're going to select all the others and i cut this down to six and five eighths of an inch squared or if you're using centimeters it is 17 centimeters okay so that size fits inside our frame perfectly can you die cut these out i'm going to bring this closer so you can see can you see the L and the stitch lines so we're going to go from this edge to this edge and you're just going to cut straight across and you're going to do that for all four pieces so I'm going to go ahead and cut okay, them so out. So I've now cut all of them and we're going to now fold on those score lines and I've also added adhesive to this longer tab here. I haven't added any adhesive to the smaller tab yet okay so we're going to just peel off the backing on the red tape okay so you just gotta fold it over and it will all line up and then you can pull the rest off and just burnish that and just fold it backwards and forwards like that okay and then you do the same to the other three now we're going to assemble our frame so we want to add our adhesive on the outside of our tab and for that I'm going to use my liquid glue and we're going to line up this tab inside of there and we're just going to place that down and then you can get your bone folder or ruler and just press that down. In fact, I'm going to turn it this way because it'd be a bit easy for me to do. So I'm going to line that up and then just hold that and then stick that down. Now just be careful when you put your finger in there because you might cut yourself. But just press that in there. And then that will fold over. So can you see they will slot together? Obviously, you need to wait for that to dry, but it will slot together like that. So I'm just going to let that dry for a few more minutes before I assemble that bit. And then you just got to continue doing that to the rest of them. Just fold up into each other like so and then our tab on this end will get joined in there like that 
So I'm going to glue that together. Yeah. So this is the front where you've got your angles and then this is the back where it's just got these overlapping like that. Okay, so now we need to add a piece of white card that's going to go onto the back. You could add some grey board and then some white card if you want to make it a bit more sturdier. But I'm just going to add some really thick white card. So I'm going to cut this down to seven and three quarter inch squared. If you're using centimeters, then that will be 19.8 centimeters squared. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, and then we're just going to glue that on to the back. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue and I'm going to just add a bit of glue underneath there because that wants to pop open. Ideally, you'd want to let this dry before you go <laughs> ahead with the next step. So I'm just going to add my glue around the edge like so. And then I could add this piece on top. So all we need to do now is we just need to build up our scene. So we've got the blue one here and this is going to go on the back there like so. And I'm going to glue that into place but then I want to add a hole so I can thread my lights through. And I'm going to have my lights around the inside of my frame and then when we add our frame that's going to sit on top of the box it will cover the lights so you won't see them on the inside if that makes sense so i'm going to glue that down first and then we're going to make a hole to thread our lights through so there we go so i've now added that and we're just going to simply pierce a hole down into this bottom right hand corner you can have it whichever way you want coming through but i'm going to have a pocket here for my light switch to sit in so i'm going to have it here so i'm just going to pierce the hole all the way through you might have to make it quite big for your lights to fit through so I threaded my lights through that hole and I got these lights off Amazon. I believe they were a pack of five and you get some spare batteries as well. I'll leave the link for them down below. And we are going to just stick these down into position. And the first layer that we're going to put down is this grey one. So excuse the bodge up on this one because I accidentally stuck the foam tape on the wrong side but that's okay because it's going to get covered up anyway. So I need to position my lights so we don't see them through the gap here. So ideally I want them to just be around the outside of that centre piece there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of sellotape to these to stick them down. And we will have the red one again with foam on that one that will go on top of there. And then before we add the blue, we will glue our rainbow down. OK, and then after that, we will glue the blue one down again with foam and then the white one with foam. OK, so. What I've done so far is I've added my image inside my box and I've added some little stars and then I've added my sentiment and also these beautiful sequins which are from the Little Isla Co. Absolutely stunning and they're the ones I'm, I've used and they're really sparkly especially when the light hits them. So that's that done. And I've got my lights in there and then I have another piece of the white card the same size as the one that we cut for the back and I've cut a circle so I got my 
largest circle of the two and I'll tell you the measurements of these in just a second and I cut my circle out and then I added some acetate and then I got both these circles and cut them out together to make this gold frame to go around the front and then I've just die cut some stars to stick on there with some foam tape so I'm going to tell you the measurements of the circles so the largest one is six inches and in centimeters that is just over 15 centimeters and then the next size down this is five and three quarters of an inch or 14.5 centimeters okay and then the acetate you just need to cut it big enough so it covers your circle and I'm going to glue that on there like so. Okay, so I've now added that. And I've also added this frame around the edge just to finish that front part off. So for that, I die cut out four of these. So you've got the larger edge and the smaller one I cut four of the smaller ones and I stuck them on so then that finishes that off beautifully on the front and I cut four of these so you get a large one of this and a small one I cut four of the small ones and I stuck them on the sides so that finishes that off nicely and now what we need to do is just add our box for our light switch to fit okay, it for our box i've cut one side already but i'm going to show you that in just a second so you're going to need a piece that measures two and five eighths of an inch by three and along the two and five eighths of an inch we will score at three eighths three quarters one and seven eighths and two and a quarter and then along the three inch side, we will score at two and a quarter and two and five eighths. Fold on your score line. Yes. I've done one already. So on this side, you'll see these four little squares. We're basically going to cut the three outer squares out completely. So we're going to cut up this score line here, cut across and cut those two out cut across there and then cut that one out then we're going to cut down this score line here so we've got this tab and then we're just going to trim that at an what angle what we need to do is add some glue on the outside of those small tabs fold them in and glue that together the larger sides and then we're going to add glue to this smaller tab here, just on the ends, like that. And then we can fold that up, make sure that your edges are lined up. And we're gonna stick that down. Then we're gonna get the wire and just put it behind your battery pack. And then we're just gonna slide this. Now the gap there is for the wire to fit in. And I'm just going to place that in there and then we're going to glue that down but we want to have the box that's got the battery in flush with the actual main box so then this will still stand up so we're going to add some glue on the back of our box and I'm going to slide that all in and I'm going to stick that down. Okay guys, that is my unicorn shadow light up box and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And this is going to be put away now for my church craft fair that I'm be doing in October and I'm going to also make a boy theme one as well. 
so yeah anyway if you enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button until next time guys take care and i'll see you all very soon bye for now <music>